welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today I thought I'd share with you my experience of doing the Chloe Ting two week shred, not the Ab Challenge two week shred, the summer full body two week shred. Now, now then, let's talk about how active I am as a person before starting this. I am quite active, my jobs are quite active, constantly running up and down stairs, constantly walking up and down Tesco, ladies and gents, I get my steps in. Workout wise, I'll go for runs, I have PT, not seen him in a while, sorry Dan. Um, yeah, but I've been struggling to actually find time at the moment with how busy I am with work to actually plan in workouts. So I saw this Chloe Ting hashtag going around everywhere, all over YouTube. Some people I know have done it. Um, so I thought, why not give it a go? Why not share it with you if I thought it's you know worth trying it for two weeks? I didn't really change my eating habits because um, I thought, you know, I'm, I eat quite well. Um, it's just those little snacks in the evening that get to me. But um, yeah, I eat fairly well. Um, so I didn't really want to change that as well as doing her workouts because I thought that's a bit of cheating. So I'll share with you now my clips of the 14 days and then I'll talk about what I thought about it all etc etc so enjoy me sweaty no makeup um very sweaty very out of breath I apologize um yeah here's those clips and I'll see you in a bit oh my god oh oh my god look at the state of me Look at that. Why did I wash my hair last night? You can freaking like see it on my chest. Woo! First day complete. Now, that was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I think it's because you literally hardly have any rest, but yeah, this is the after day one peeps, sweat, dripping, excuse spot, sorry, sweat everywhere, everywhere, no, 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 I'll either update you halfway through the week or day five or day seven people. Let's go, let's get fit for two weeks. <laughs> Peace out. I've just done day three of the Chloe Ting two week shred. Um, the first two are the same as the first two days. A little bit better um, still as painful still as sweaty um, yeah I had two new ones today lower body and a level line ab thing whatever that is um, I only thought it was three and then I looked and I was like oh there's another ab one <laughs> great great stuff um, no but yeah the first two were getting a little bit easier I'm still so mess and I feel good actually. Yeah. Woo! Good morning, morning, one and all. Today is day six. Yesterday was a rest day, um, but I made sure I got my steps in. Um yeah, I've woke up absolutely knackered. I think if anything, oh let me just pop you there. I think if anything, I kind of wish that I just carried on, but I know you do need rest days. Today I've woken up feeling worse than yesterday. Like more of, I can't be arsed, whereas yesterday I probably could have done a workout. But you know, day six, we got this. I think it's three workouts today. 
so 35 minutes and then yeah we're nearly halfway through we're nearly halfway through this shred so tomorrow i might show you if anything has changed in a week or maybe how i feel after a week um yeah that's it let's go work out with my greasy ass fucking hair because i was like oh wow what a look um i thought there's no point in washing it when i'm just gonna get friggin sweaty oh i'm not ready yeah <laughs> Workout one. Ish. Workout one done. Two more to go. This is hard today. Workout two done. Sweat. Yeah. A lot of it. Last one. Let's go. Can you see that? Can you see that? my eyes my eyes are even sweating like you can definitely see that it's like look at me friggin hell oh it's a good sweat though like i know i was a bit like i'm not feeling it today but that was hard today after that day off Woo! but i guess it having a day off like recharges yourself and then like gets you ready to, I don't even know, I don't even know what I'm chatting. But yeah, that was day six. And I don't know when I'll check in with you again. But yeah, just know that the sweat is real if you do this programme. Morning, it is day 12 of the 14 day, two week, Chloe Ting shred. Um, quick little update because I've not spoke to you in few days um yesterday day 11 i had to do just the two core exercises that you have to do every single day um while well, your rest days obviously that was hard yesterday um my mind just wasn't in it i just honestly <sighs> could not be bothered just wanted to eat crap um just, my body was just not there so i didn't put my full amount of effort in yesterday today i feel a bit more positive um just you know near that finishing line but yeah it's getting to a point now where i'm a, getting a bit bored of the exercises so today is 45 minutes for um clips so let's see how it goes hopefully it's okay but like i said i'm getting a bit bored so who knows one exercise down look at that mm. three more to go today oh also Today is mm, interesting. Last one. So I thought I sweated a lot today, and then sorry if you can just hear my shower, but then looked down at my sock. <laughs> day fourteen, everyone. Last day, last push. Um, I'm not really in the mood today. <laughs> Woo. Um, 
that will be in a minute i think it's because i've got tan on and i just don't want it to run but that's my own fault for putting it on um yeah but day 14 let's go let's push through and then i'll let you know how my 14 day chloe king shred then so workout one done of four prop shouldn't i put the tan on lovely this is the old physique after the workout i'm getting very sweaty complete complete 14 days complete i stink of tan um yeah wasn't actually as hard today woo um i'll go through it all with you in the next clip did you see how sweaty i got <sighs> oh my goodness i'm not even gonna lie with you i did not i did not think it would be that hard it didn't seem to get better there was never a day doing it where i was like yeah this i've got this today but every day you have to do the first two always so it's like every day 13 minute full body and then how to get abs in two weeks or something um you have to do those two every time you do the session and then the other ones like vary so if you're doing a day you constantly will either do two or more i think it can go up to two to four per day and then you have two rest days in the two weeks but you have to have active rest days so you get your steps in um but the abs one i tell you never ever got any better um i'd constantly be there like when is it over the <sighs> the positives from it positive from the whole two week shred i would say was i feel fitter like physically and mentally it helps a lot with my men's my physical mental health rather than an overall complete body change if that makes sense because you're not i don't know i don't know if you can change your complete body in two weeks i think that's a bit of a false statement i don't know um that's just me i didn't change weight during the two weeks i weighed myself at the beginning and i weighed myself after the two weeks i think i stayed the same um obviously i'm not going to share with you that because that's quite personal but i didn't change weight however i saw a bit of a difference in my core um my legs just felt stronger i have to say um throughout the whole time my legs did feel stronger i really actually enjoyed the days when the leg day was incorporated in i really enjoyed that workout um and i did actually feel stronger in my arms um still to this day now i feel a bit stronger um yeah it just made me feel stronger rather than wow i have lost seven pounds you know what i mean it made me feel physically stronger and mentally stronger and it was nice how they weren't too long I think the longest one was 14 minutes um so that goes quite quick i like hit sessions so that was fun but oh my gosh i sweated more towards the end of the two weeks than i did at the beginning as you will have seen in the previous clips i'll put some photos like here this was me on day 12 day 12 i was sweating like buckets I was absolutely dripping, even to the point that you would have seen um, my socks were literally <laughs> full of sweat. I don't think I've ever, ever sweated that much with an at-home workout. Um, it was quite surprising and I actually really enjoyed it because I felt good that I'd actually built up such a sweat that... It made me feel yeah it just made me feel good the fact that i was just just sweating like i can't describe it when i i used to hate sweating 
I used to think it's because it made me look fat, it made me look, I don't even, like, overweight, like, because I was sweaty, it meant I was fat and I was unfit, but now, if I don't sweat, I'm like, what have I just spent my 45, 30, an hour time doing? Like, nothing. If I don't sweat, I'm like, I get annoyed with myself because I've obviously not put enough effort in. But as you can see, that wasn't the case on day 12 or 13 or 14. I was an absolute sweating mess. So I hope you enjoyed those photos. Another positive from it is because they were so quick and quite short in length, you could fit them in to your everyday routine. Um, I either like to come home from work and do it or before I went to work. They were just quick and easy and you could always find time to just fit it in and I think that's so so key with fitness and I was going to say on sport but I don't do sport just because I'm wearing some American honey doesn't mean I do sport or soccer as they would say. Now on to the negative, well not negatives but like not so much a positive. I, I got a bit bored towards the end, not even towards the end, perhaps like day eight, I got bored of the fact that I had to do the same two ones to start off every single session that I was doing and that's when it felt tedious um, and it felt like I was constantly watching the video on the screen to be like how much longer have I got and I think when working out you shouldn't feel like that, you should be like wow I've just done a whole session for 45 minutes. I don't know, I'm a person that prefers variation, so the fact that the workouts were so, so similar per day did make me get a bit bored and towards the end it did make me just want to be like, oh, I don't know if I want to continue with it because they're so similar. I feel like for, if you're doing a two week thing, if it's different, different, diff different, um, it'd be more engaging. But it's the fact that for two weeks you were pretty much doing the same things per week. It was like, ugh, a bit of a slog. So yeah, I don't know, for me, I just got a bit bored. That's all I can really say as a negative, to be honest. I just would have preferred a bit more variation. And maybe to just see a little bit more difference. I felt the difference, don't get me wrong. I felt it in the strength, in my mind. Um, my legs were stronger. Um, I saw a little bit of my core, I would have just maybe perhaps to have liked to have seen a little bit more but like I said, it's two weeks, you can't really complain for two weeks You maybe if I was to do it again, I would perhaps go more into a calorie deficit than I'm already in um, just to see if maybe that helps alongside doing the two week shred but yeah Overall, I would probably rate doing it just for the physical aspects. Like it really helped me just feel stronger and put my mind at rest. Like that negative little voice inside your head um, honestly can grate sometimes. And I know, I've, I honestly, I've been there. I know I am there. It happens to me quite a lot. Um, it takes over. And sometimes I don't know how to dull it down day to day, but I find exercise, meditation, walks, all seem to help. So if perhaps you are struggling with your mind and it can't rest and you feel stressed, um, try giving exercise a go. Maybe try something like a two week shred to build you into a, like a routine of what exercises you like, what exercises you don't perhaps like, what exercises you don't like but you know you'll see a difference with or perhaps some that you're like I don't feel anything, I'm doing this crunch but I can't feel it and I know I'm tight and tensing um, but I just can't feel it and then the next day I can't feel it. If you can't feel the burn the next day or feel the burn while you're, while you're doing it, why are you doing it? Because you can't, you're obviously not going to see a big enough benefit. So perhaps maybe if you're new into exercise as well, try something like a guide or a two week program or a four week program, six week, seven week, whatever, two month, um, anything to... Build your confidence up. I just wanted to do this two week shred 
not to lose weight, not to see a body transformation. It was more to see if it would help me mentally because I know exercise does really help me with my mental health. Um, and it did. It made me realise that day to day I should be incorporating some sort of exercise, some sort of walk, yoga, mega, mega, meditation, don't know what that is when she's at home, um, meditation, just a quick little 10 minute hit blast sweaty mess situation into my daily routine and it made me realise that perhaps I do. That's why I did it. I gave some reasons maybe for you to do it. Um, but if you're looking for a body transformation, quick fix maybe, I wouldn't say this is a quick fix. Um, I wouldn't say you're going to get an eight pound weight loss or a stone weight loss in two weeks because that's absolute bullshit. Don't listen to any of that because it, um, that's, that's for another video. But um, if you're looking for something to just get you back into maybe exercise, get you back into feeling a sweat and a burn and a better mentality, then maybe give this a go. Um, yeah you've seen how sweaty it made me i wonder how sweaty it'll make you if you decide to do it i will leave in the description box the chloe ting two week shred but yeah this was me before i can't believe i'm showing pictures of my body online who thought molly would do this because i'm very body conscious um, so this was me before, this was me after. I can see the tiniest bit difference, but if we were to compare it to this photo of me sweating, of me an absolute mess, you can see how much happier I am, if that makes sense. I don't know. I just feel like in this photo, this is what I should be showing. I shouldn't be showing, this is me before, this is me after. I should be showing this of a sweat, of a girl who feels physically good, physically powerful, physically there and mentally there. This is more of a true representation of how this two week shred made me feel compared to a before and after photo. There. I said it, I don't really get them. I don't get a before and after photo. I don't really take them of myself because what's the point? If you feel inside physically better, mentally better, that's a bigger achievement than looking at two photos and going, wow, oh my God, I've got more abs there. I've got a better arm definition. Look at my ass. No, look at me sweat. Look at this girl sweat. She did it. She did it. And I look at this photo actually and I'm proud of myself because I would never, ever, ever have put up a photo of me on a YouTube video of me sweating and also with hardly any gym clothes on. So thank you, Chloe Ting, for making me feel more powerful in myself and strong that is what i want to say thank you to her for not for making me lose a few pounds for making me feel a strong woman so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments if you've done a chloe ting shredded or a chloe ting video and if you enjoyed it and if you saw any results or if it made you feel like a strong badass woman independent women are the new thing so subscribe if you want to see more like this and i will see you next week for another video goodbye